Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft with Night Dagger. I am Night Dagger and I actually need a better name for this series because modded Minecraft with Night Dagger sounds kind of derpy to me. So if anyone thinks of a good name for the series just let me know. So I did a lot of mining while I was off camera. Let me show you what I got. I got some trees set up. There's actually a whole bunch of rubber trees in the swamp out to the north. And I did a whole bunch of mining for a lot of resources. I got those here. And then if we come down here, I actually need to run down here because I need to get the stuff out of here anyway so we can actually do something this episode. I think I just took the long way around. Don't care. We got time. Sorry, just kind of autopiloting there while I start my timer. In order to get everything to fit up better when I render into 720, I'm actually playing Minecraft in the proper dimensions in full screen mode now, so shouldn't have too much trouble with the black bars, at least when you're just watching it on the YouTube player. So we come down here, and I actually have the beginnings of a branch mine right here. or it was kind of the beginning of a branch mine, until I found the abandoned mine shaft. I didn't really find a whole lot in the mine shaft. I didn't explore it completely. But I did find a couple of Thalmcraft chests, and I found a ton of resources in this mine. Two stacks of iron, and a couple stacks of copper, and a whole bunch of other good stuff. The one notable resource I did not find is diamonds. So we can't really do anything involving diamond jet, but we'll get there. I do, however, want to take all of this wonderful good stuff that I picked up. And, actually, you know, I don't really need uranium right now, but I could possibly need the lapis soon. Definitely don't need the cinnabar right now. Um, don't really need the string, but I would like to bring that up with me. And let's head back up. Run back to the end of the ravine. I'm either going to have to set up another mine at some point here, or I'm going to have to come up with a better way of getting up. Um, once I have a little bit of diamond, I'm probably going to start building some portals to help me with that. Get my portal gun so I can get back from anywhere, so I can go exploring without having to worry about getting too lost or getting in really serious trouble. Certainly makes mining trips a lot easier too. Alright. Home sweet home. Now, I think what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to build an extension to this house off to the side here. Or maybe just build another house to be my warehouse. That sounds like a good idea to me. Let's make it happen. Um, let's just toss some of this crap in here to give me a little inventory room. Just going to do this with cobblestone. Give me some sticks. Stick there, cobblestone there, get you a sickle. Which is great for clearing away all this crap. Honestly, Red Power is a great mod, but this is like the frosting on top of the cake. It just makes everything so much better. And my inventory is completely full, so I can't pick up the flax seeds or anything. That's okay. Yeah, that's getting annoying. Okay. Let's go ahead and expand this into a double chest. Throw that on the ground for a second. 
And let's toss a whole bunch of other crap in here. That's good. Most notably, though, we're going to keep a little bit of iron out. In here, I've got all my charcoal. We're going to cook up some more of this iron. We're going to cook up some more of that iron. We're going to dump all this crap off. And we're going to get... Let's see here. I need a couple of sticks, which I tossed in here. Need one gemstone. Of pretty much any type, which I left all of them down in the basement, didn't I? So I did. Well... Come over here, pick up the flax seeds. Whoa, that's a... Oh, he looked a lot bigger than that. I hate these slimes. They're so hard to hit. There. Sorry to say, but I'm probably going to obliterate that house. Still got our piggy orgy going on down there. So, what I want to do for this episode. I think what I want to do for this episode is, first of all, I want to punch this slime off the edge. I want to get some industrial craft going. Um, industrial craft is going to double my income from mining, which is going to be really good stuff. It's also going to give me access to power, which I can use to make a mining drill. Granted, right now I can't make a diamond drill. But at least I can make a mining drill, which will mine about as fast as the tools that I've been using. Come collect my experience from the slime. But most importantly, it won't break like these other tools. Um, I went through about four gemstone pickaxes with all the mining I did last night. I was at it for a good couple hours. I'm actually kind of annoyed that I didn't find any diamonds in that entire amount of time, but what are you going to do? They're here somewhere. We just gotta find them. I did, however, find a lot of lava. So, geothermal is looking like a really good early option for power, and it's getting dark. I'm gonna be running through skeletons on the way home. But that's okay, the worst they're going to do is kill me. Which, granted, would suck, but not really bad. I'm not playing in hardcore or anything. Death means I lose some experience, it doesn't mean that I have to stop playing. I think next time I'm... oh, holy crap, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I'm going to go into my house. Nothing to see here. You cannot rest now because there are monsters nearby. It is time to take a stand. Hi. Where the hell did he go? That could not have killed him. We need to light this village up better. We will defend this village with our very lives. Where'd that creeper go? That's what I want to know. 
Oh, crap, there he is. Oh, no. Why would you do that? What a dick. I'm sorry, but dick move, bro. Dick move. Holy crap, that was terrible. Okay, emergency inventory management. That was a dick move. Okay, well, we've recovered most of our inventory. There's another chest. We will fill up with crap. Well, I guess first thing we do in this episode is rebuild our frickin' house. It's okay, I didn't really like the way it was set up anyway. Nice for a short period of time, but maybe not so nice for permanent living. I'm going to sleep the night away so we don't have that happen again. How did he get in here? That's my question. He must have come in when I had the door open. Stop that racket. Thank you for the brain. Okay. Well... completely threw off my train of thought. Let's start off by making another gemstone pickaxe. That sounds like a good idea. We're going to break these. We're going to break these because we are going to upgrade these both into iron furnaces which are a little more efficient. They burn 10 instead of 8. So we can now put 10 in there. We can find our charcoal, because I am very particular about burning coal. And we'll start cooking that up. We'll also get our sticky resin. Start cooking some of that up. So we're going to need that soon anyway. Well, if nothing else, I said that if there was any funny hijinks I wanted to be on camera, well, I'd say the creeper blowing up my house was funny hijinks, wouldn't it? What a dick. All right. Now, off to what I was going to do first. Let's dig us out a little bit more room here. There. Eventually what I'm going to want to do is just fill all of this in anyway, so I might, as, I might just start that now. So I want everything to be on kind of the same level. I don't want these farms to be raised up like this. I want to stop the pig orgy. Although, actually, no, I want them all on this level. I do want the farms to be raised up, so this is me changing my mind again. Um, I will screw around with this more later. Get out of there! Get out of there. Get 
out of there. Thank you. Okay. My poor floor. I don't even have the right kind of wood to repair it. Alright. Cobblestone. I need wood in order to build a villager style house. Because their houses are all foundationed. Like this. This is also going to be my industrial craft workroom, so. Let's see here. Let's make it look nice. Yeah, I know. Big concern right now, huh? Okay, so there's going to be wood there, and there's going to be glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, right there. Okay, that should work. While we're at it, let's come in here and swap out our furnaces. We have our iron, but we need some refined iron. So we're going to get that iron back to cooking. We're going to need some copper, which I want to use the industrial craft version of it. Because that's what it's all going to end up being anyway, and I don't want to have a random piece of copper laying around. So there we go. Now we got that started. I need to go kill some trees so I can fix my floor. Either that or just dig up the trees that I or dig up the floor that I have and replace it with something else. I might just do that. Um sort chests, grab cobble. Build. My goal here is to kind of make this warehouse that I'm building look almost like something that would be natively in this village. Now, the cobblestone floor, maybe not so much, because their floors are all wood. But, you know, I want to at least give the appearance. So we're going to make the bottom here is going to be cobblestone, and then the side is going to be cobblestone. No. Let's move this around and get my inventory sorted how I'm used to it. Let's see, four, four, there we go. Although, theirs is wood. I don't really care that much. Okay, we have copper. We have refined iron. We have redstone. And now comes... Oh, we need tin. Got to do some tin first. And again, I want to use this version of tin. Because we need a battery. Actually, we don't really need a battery, but I want a battery. Alright. The question is, do we want to do an extractor first, or do we want to do a macerator first? Um, sticky resin is a harder to get resource for me at the moment. I have a ton of ores. I can afford to burn off a few of them. So let's start with the extractor. 
Now, I'm also going to want to have a power generation room, which I'm probably going to put behind this. So, let's just go ahead and plan for that early. Put our power, gener our power storage unit here, and then have everything running out this way. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work just fine. Let's come back here. Are we almost done? Yeah, we're almost done. Close enough. Um, for right now, I'm going to block this off. Yeah, it's a waste of resources, but I want to do it. I've been meaning to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm sick of having villagers visit me. I'm also sick of how... Let's not do that yet. I'm also sick of how the door wasn't flush with the outside. Now it is. Actually, I don't even need to do that. There we go. Good. Blew a hole in the roof. Son of a bitch. Alright. Tin's done cooking. Just gonna let the smooth stone continue to cook. In order to make an extractor, I need wood. I just so happen to have a very good source of wood, right here. My floors are going to be stone brick. I think that looks quite nice. So let's uh, da, 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 da. waste of resources. I know. I don't care. Sleep through the night so we don't have any more shenanigans. And let's continue chopping up my floor, shall we? as well. This is just my living space anyway. It's not like there's anything important in here, except for me. Workbench, you're annoying me. Workbench, I need you. Damn. Damn. You there. You there. You there. Project table. Oh. Red power 2 achievements? Okay. I did not know they existed yet. I guess so. Alright, now off to what I was doing. Need more wood. I find it absolutely hilarious that I'm cannibalizing my own floor as opposed to going out and gathering wood.
Okay, we do that, we get a tree tap, right? Well, we have four of them now. We do this, we get a machine block. We do this, we get copper cable. We do this, we get an electronic circuit. And if we do this, we get, no, sort up, not down. We do this, we get an extractor. The extractor does not do us any good at the moment. We actually need a little bit more iron cooked up. So we're going to cook it in here. I really don't want to waste any coal doing this, so I'm just going to toss the wood in here. Three planks of wood should be enough to cook up the at least three refined iron we need. Can make some more bricks. good. Okay, we have the three refined iron we need. We're just going to continue letting that... Nope, it's not going to finish. Okay. That's fine. Um, I am going to need a little bit more copper cable, so I'm just going to go ahead and make it now. That'll work. We'll come back to that later that, and like there, and like that, gets you that, and I could actually make a second battery, which I will want to do at some point, but not quite right now. You, like that, and you, and you, get you a generator. All right. Um, as a very temporary solution, we're going to put the generator here. We're going to put the extractor right, not like that, right here. And we're going to feed the generator a little bit of coal. Note self, turn off IC2 sounds. Sorry if that was really loud. Unfortunately, IC2 has a problem remembering what its volume is supposed to be set at. So sometimes it gets, like, deafeningly loud. 28 more stone bricks. Should allow me to finish most of my floor. It's enough to fix the illusion of floating stuff. You know what, I'm going to need one soon anyway, so let's get these gems out. Do I have any sticks anywhere? I do. Let's just go ahead and make us Sapphire Axe. Finish cutting off the floor. There we go. Neat little trick there. If you cut the floor out from one half of the bed and then the other half, it won't break. If you cut it out all at once, it will. So. Come on. All right. And the next thing we need to do is we need to make another electronic circuit. We need some more iron cooked up. Which means I need this to stop working on what it's working on. Start working on some freaking iron. Where'd the rest of my iron go? 
There it is. I knew I had at least two stacks of it. It's like, don't tell me the creeper blew up my iron. I need nine pieces of refined iron total, of which I have one. Seven. There's the eighth. I'm just going to let this finish cooking up as much iron as it can. Actually, no, I'm not. That's kind of wasteful. I would rather waste coal than iron. While that goes, come over here. And we're going to make another electronic circuit. Somewhere in one of these chests, I should have some flint. I do. Not the saddle. We have flint. We'll just drop it in there for now because we need... First of all, we need to knock that out. And we need some copper cable. Now, before anyone starts commenting on it, yes, I realize that what I am doing here is going to be a little lossy eventually, but early game, it's hard to avoid it. How's my iron doing? Perfect. Machine block. Flint on top. Cobble on the sides, circuit on the bottom, macerator, we come pop him down right there. And now we get double our money. Feed the generator a little bit. And right off the bat what we're going to need is we're going to need some tin. So I'm just going to macerate this 9 red power tin. It's got to completely repower the extractor before it can... Oh. Derp. I didn't connect it. And the copper cable was on me all along. There. Ah, oh, crap. There. Definitely have to turn off my IC2 sounds before I film the next video. We'll put those down because I know I'm going to need them eventually. Let's go ahead and feed this another piece of coal. We know we're going to need the power. And this is going to give us tin dust. Four. Okay. Night is falling. Let's drop this. Let's go ahead and cook up our beef using a little bit of wood. Nothing like that wood smoke flavor. I like not having villagers invading my privacy. Even though it was technically their place. There. Finally, no more hunger. Okay. A new morning has dawned, and our macerator is doing some good work for us. Let's come over here and check on the trees that I was growing. From saplings that I took from the forest. Or the swamp. Where I found Whoa! You cheeky little bastard. Scared the crap out of me. Thought I was about to get blown up by a creeper or something. OK, 
Okay, this is boring stuff. I'll come back and do this later, off camera. I'll also do the leveling project that I have off camera because that's going to be some boring stuff too. Okay. We have 1010. We'll cook that up. We need a little more copper. So, we'll go ahead and feed that. Let the macerator derp around while it tries to kick start. There we go. And, what else do I want to do? What else do I want to do while I'm waiting? There really isn't a whole lot that I can do while I'm waiting. I come over here and collect... I'll hold off on that for just a second. Let it finish cooking up this. Grab it. We'll come over here and we'll pull this. It's important enough. Two copper. Three copper. Go back to processing the tin. Well, that was kind of pointless. I was trying to juggle it back and forth so I didn't lose any heat, but putting the stuff in before I took it out kind of screwed me up there, didn't it? Okay. I didn't even need to wait, did I? Oh well. There we go. We got that. We need three more of those batteries. Four won't hurt. Three. One, two, three, four, five. And that gets us a bat box. Now, we will need the copper out of here, which we will toss in here and quickly find out that it's not going to go. And, hmm. Because what I need is a wrench. In order to make a wrench, I have to have bronze. In order to make bronze, I need copper and tin. And this should actually be the perfect amount of tin. And the perfect amount of copper. All right. We have a wrench. And I'm actually going to go to the trouble of making it an electric wrench. Right off the bat. Why? Because electric wrenches are cool. And they don't break. So I sacrifice one more piece of charcoal to the charcoal gods here. I promise in between episodes I will turn off my IC2 sound so you guys don't have to listen to this annoying stuff anymore. 
take the copper dust. We'll toss it in here. Why not? We'll only end up wasting about half a half piece of charcoal. I don't see it as being a big loss. So we already have the battery. All we need is the electronic circuit, which we have everything for. There's that, there's that, there's that. Get the order right and you have an electric wrench. Come over here and toss an electric wrench in the top slot of the generator and you get some power to it. Let's go ahead and just charge it with another piece of coal. And I just looked at my timer and I'm up on the 40 minute mark here, so I'm going to install this bat box as soon as this generator finishes ticking down on this coal. And then I'm going to call this one quits. We're going to put the bat box here. Then we're going to take our wrench. We're going to hold down shift and we're going to right click. That's going to point the interface away from us. And then I'm going to break a hole here because that is where our power lead is going to go, which I don't think I have the cable on me. I left it in here. Power lead is going to come in here, and for right now it's just going to be a generator, but I'm going to upgrade that probably next episode. And holy annoying IC2 sounds. All right, that is it for me for right now. Uh, this has been Night Dagger with Let's Play Modded Minecraft. I seriously need a better name for this series than that. So like I said, if anyone can think anything, be sure to suggest it in the comments. And I will catch you all again next time.